The Mount Sinai Otolaryngology Surgical Video Series presents Functional Endoscopic Sinus Surgery. This procedure is performed by members of our rhinology and general otolaryngology divisions for those patients with chronic rhinosinusitis. This video was made by Kevin Wong along with series editor Zachary Schwamm. Here you see on a coronal diagram on the left and sagittal diagram on the right of the paranasal sinuses. There are four sinuses in total, the maxillary, ethmoid, sphenoid, and frontal sinus. The goal of a FES procedure is to open up these sinus air cells and widen natural drainage pathways. This helps improve ventilation, restore healthy mucosa, and improve access for topical medications. Depending on patient-specific disease factors, all or only some of these sinuses may need to be opened in a standard FES. We go through steps for a complete FES, which includes a maxillary entrostomy, anterior ethmoidectomy, posterior ethmoidectomy, sphenoidotomy, and frontal sinusotomy. The patient in this video has a history of chronic rhinus sinusitis. Here we're looking in the left nasal cavity. You can see the inferior turbinate, middle turbinate, septum, and left septal spur. Maxillary entrostomy. First, the curve of the uncinate is visualized, which often resembles a half moon. A ball tip probe is inserted posterior to the uncinate and aimed inferiorly. It should fall into the natural maxillary oz and the free edge is reflected anteriorly. The natural oz can also be approximated by the junction of the lower third and upper third of the maxillary line. Next, a backbiter is used to bring the uncinectomy to its anterior limit. Care must be taken not to disrupt lacrimal bone or nasal lacrimal duct anteriorly. The reflected uncinate is removed with an upbiting kerosene and remaining portions removed with a microdebrider. When using the microdebrider, a tapping motion should be used in short intervals. Tissue should be allowed to come towards the instrument rather than digging in. This is safer and prevents inadvertent damage to underlying structures. The maxillary entrostomy should be clearly visible at this point. And if needed, the entrostomy is enlarged posteriorly using a straight through cutting instrument towards the posterior wall. Once again, the debrider is used to mop up hanging tissue. Next, the ethmoidectomy is addressed. Ethmoidectomies are classified as partial or total depending on whether the anterior or posterior ethmoid cells are removed. The first step in an anterior ethmoidectomy is to identify and resect ethmoid bulla. We typically use a J curette to enter the bulla, starting in the retrobullar space and fracturing forward. We then remove remaining partitions using a combination of through cutting instruments and microdebriders. Once the bulla has been fractured, remove bony fragments with Blakesley forceps or a straight microdebrider. It is important to use mucosa sparing techniques. Through cutting instruments and Blakesley forceps can be used to cut and remove ethmoid bony partitions, but forceps should be used sparingly when removing mucosa to prevent stripping. The goal here is to identify the medial orbital wall and basal lamella. The basal lamella is the portion of the middle turbinate that curves laterally and attaches to the lateral nasal wall. On this axial CT scan of this patient, you can see the basal lamella highlighted in yellow, which divides the anterior ethmoid cells shaded in red from the posterior ethmoid cells shaded in green. The next important point of reference is the roof of the maxillary sinus, which serves as both the point of entry of basal lamella and height of the sphenoid os. Once the basal lamella is entered, this marks the start of our posterior ethmoidectomy. The posterior portion of the middle turbinate is removed first in order to visualize the superior turbinate. Sphenoidotomy. Using the height of the maxillary roof as a guide, one third of the lower superior turbinate is resected using through cutting instruments to reveal the natural sphenoid os. A freer is then inserted into the natural oz to widen it. An opening is further widened up to the skull base and laterally to lamina using a kerosene or mushroom punch. With the sphenoidotomy complete and skull base defined, we now turn back to ethmoidectomy of the superior most cells. Starting posteriorly at the skull base, ethmoid partitions are dissected off of skull base using a combination of kerosene, through cutting instruments, and microdebriders.
The axle of the middle turbine is also open to better visualize superiorly. Dissection continues from a posterior to anterior direction until the roof of the ethmoid bulla and superbulla recess are reached. This marks the completion of the total ethmoidectomy. This is also the portion of the case when we use an angled endoscope to examine the maxillary entrostomy to incorporate the natural laws if it was not reached with zero degree instruments. The ideal shape of a completed entrostomy is pear shaped, with the anterior portion dissected just posterior to the nasolacrimal duct, bone fragments removed, and mucosal edges trimmed. Here we see the open cavity with maxillary entrostomy on the right, cleared ethmoid air cells, and sphenoid opening posteriorly. Frontal sinusotomy. The first step of frontal sinusotomy is to identify the anterior ethmoid artery, which lies posterior to the frontal recess. The natural drainage pathway of the frontal sinus is next identified. This is often described as a shadow recess known as a transition zone, which is posterior to the agronazi. Many times the opening may be tiny or even hidden by redundant mucosa that requires gentle suctioning or probing to reveal. Once the frontal drainage pathway is found, remnant agronasi is removed using a combination of side-to-side -side and front-to-back through-cutting instruments. Hoseman punch. curved microdebreeders, and frontal kerosens. Finally, the posterior bony wall between the supraorbital ethmoid and the frontal recess is opened, enlarging the frontal recess, and concluding this portion of the procedure.